In this video, I'm going to talk about the five best penny stocks to buy right now. One of these stocks has the potential to not only double your money, but is led by a CEO who has previously turned penny stocks into billion dollar companies. This is a must watch video for anyone who is serious about penny stocks in 2024 and looking for the next parabolic penny stock. Now we have a lot to get through in this video, so I'll try and keep the intro short. But if you find any value in this, can I ask you to smash the like button? It literally costs nothing, but it helps me out so much. I'm aiming to get 300 likes on this video. Help me achieve this goal. I want to point out this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so always do your own due diligence. Try answer the question at the end of this video. Now let's get into it. Surf Air Mobility is an LA-based electric aviation and air travel company expanding the category of regional EV air travel. They are building a regional air mobility ecosystem that will aim to sustainably connect the world's communities and believe that bringing electric aircraft to the market at scale will substantially reduce the cost and environmental impact of regional flying. So in effect, Surf Air are trying to bring the EV market into the sky with EV planes. Surf Air have a whole host of partnerships already signed with several major companies. One that will be very familiar to retail investors here is Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. So Palantir is a retail investor favorite, especially over the past year with the stock up over 170%, but Palantir is backing Surf Air. Just over a month ago, Palantir disclosed a 7.1% stake in Surf Air Mobility. But they have partnerships with other companies too, and in recent weeks signed an agreement to supply electric powertrains to Auric Air. They are planning to grow across 30 US networks with around 200 tier 1 routes. Surf Air have a strong leadership team with highly experienced people coming in from major airlines such as Delta, Virgin and United Airlines. And they estimate that the EV plane market will have a total addressable market of over $100 billion within the next 10 years. But what catches my attention with Surf Air is that it has a very low valuation when compared to most of its peers, as we can see here. And some of these companies are very heavily backed to by major investors, such as Archer Aviation, which, which is backed by Cathie Woods Arc, or Joby Aviation, which is backed by both Intel and Vanguard. IQSTEL is a US-based technology company offering leading-edge telecommunications and technology services. This company is traded on the OTCQX, ticker symbol IQST. The company is fully reporting penny stock with fantastic corporate governance, an independent board of directors and an audit committee, which is something that not every OTC company has. IQST offer leading edge services in both business to business and business to customer divisions through several subsidiaries across separate business divisions. These include Enhanced Telecommunications Division, which includes their Internet of Things and proprietary blockchain platforms, their FinTech Services Division, Electric Vehicle Division, and their AI Enhanced Metaverse. IQST has a global presence, and its products and services are used across several industries in telecommunications, EV financial services, and distribution industries. And they have lots of customers, which we can see here. Some of these are very well known, such as IBM, Verizon, or Vodafone. And IQST have just issued their latest earnings, which show record revenues, achieving a 55% annual revenue growth to over $144 million, with gross profit increasing by 160%. IQSTEL have managed to decrease their net loss by 96%, so it looks very much like IQSTEL could be profitable within the next few months, and this has caught my attention. Next up is 3D Capital. 3D is a Canadian-based venture capital firm focused on opportunistic investments in companies in the junior resources and disruptive technology sectors. This stock is traded on the OTCQX, ticker symbol IDKFF, and the Canadian Securities Exchange, ticker symbol IDK. Now, this company was recently brought to my attention by a subscriber who was very bullish on this stock. And when I started looking into the company, a few things caught my attention very quickly. First of all, 3D have several very interesting early stage companies in their portfolio. And this is the business model. 3D Capital provides investors with significant exposure to ground floor opportunities in small cap stocks in their very early stages and in disruptive industries, 
such as blockchain, artificial intelligence, internet of things, biotechnology and junior resources. And the company explained this very well on their website by saying that 3D can provide exposure into equity in early or seed financing rounds. This provides 3D with a low entry point and a highly favorable risk to reward profile. Now this is one of my favorite types of companies over the past few years. Of course they are high risk but have high reward. Which is why it's always so important to do your own DD. Now 3D have investments into many companies, such as the ones that we can see here, but there's a few things that really caught my attention about this company. First of all, management teams are always so important to these types of companies and 3D is led by CEO Sheldon Inwintash. As it says here, Sheldon has more than 30 years of successful small capital investing experience and an extensive track record of achieving significant return on investment for his investors and profitability for the companies in which he invests. And this is a CEO with some track record. His last venture capitalist company was Pine Tree Capital, which Mr. Inmontash led from being a tiny penny stock up to a billion dollar company in just three years. Now everybody is looking for the next parabolic penny stock, the one that can double your investment or maybe treble your investment. But this guy generated a 150x return in just three years. And in that time, while at Pine Tree, his accomplishment included investing in Queenston Mining, which was acquired for $550 million, Aurelian Resources, acquired by Kinross for $1.2 billion, and Gold Eagle Mines, acquired by Goldcrop, for $1.5 billion, which led to him being awarded, which led to him being named as a finalist for Ernest & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award in 2007. So as I said, his track record is something that really caught my eye. Then there is the fact that 3D Capital stock is trading at about half its NAV valuation. Last month, 3D Capital announced a net asset value per share of 85 cents. Guys, this is a stock that is currently trading at only 47 cents. And this company has so many upcoming catalysts. Like just today, 3D Capital acquired securities of Toda Micro, which is a company that provides a new option for the underserved market to allow business customers to complete micropayments in a cost-effective manner. But this company is doing deals every week. Another stock that I'll be watching very closely over the next month is Fisker. Now it was actually a comment from a subscriber on one of my other videos that alerted me to take a look at Fisker again. FSRN is a stock that I have talked briefly about before. Fisker always looked like one of those EV companies that would either take the world by storm or would bankrupt itself trying to do so. It wouldn't be the first time that Henrik Fisker has actually gone and done this. So Fisker was delisted from the New York Stock Exchange just over a week ago and is now trading on the OTC pink market. Fisker was delisted from the New York Stock Exchange, a stock that was previously valued in the billions, now only worth about $10 million and trading at just two cents. But what interests me about Fisker stock right now is that I think the company could be easily bought out. I've seen rumors of Renault looking to buy Fisker. Now, I don't think that's true. But also a couple of weeks ago, there was rumors of Fisker being in talks with Nissan. Now, at its current valuation and the fact that they do not have the finances to see through the rest of the year, I think a deal could be done with some big company. Now, I do feel sorry for anyone who bought this stock back in 2020 or 2021. That investment is long gone. But at just two cents, this stock could swing wildly in the coming weeks. Then we have Aquestive Therapeutics. Now, Aquestive is a pharmaceutical company that I've talked about many times. They advance and commercialize medicines to solve therapeutic problems. They have created innovative drug delivery technology and a very innovative delivery technology called PharmFilm. This gives patients with complex dosing challenges a simple, non-invasive and more convenient way to dose. No mixing, swallowing or chewing. This technology in time has the potential of eliminating all oral pills, gels and injections, etc. Now, as I've mentioned, this is a stock that I have talked about on the channel lots of times over the past two years. And the stock had been gaining recently, gaining over 500% in recent months on recent FDA news and financial statements. There has been a bit of a pullback in recent weeks. However, April will be a big month for Equestive with a Padufa date 
set for the end of April that has the potential to send the stock soaring. And Equestive has the potential to be a player in some multi-trillion dollar markets. So this is a stock that I would be watching very closely over the next month. I expect the stock to make gains and continue this run upwards. Now in this video I have looked at what I consider to be 5 top penny stock plays. But which of these do you think is the best? I'm extremely bullish on two of these in particular. Check the comments below to see which ones. But let me know which ones are your favourites. 3D Capital, led by a CEO with an amazing record. A quest of therapeutics with a major FDA catalyst later this month. Fisker, a very risky buyout play. IQS Tell with a record breaking quarter and growing revenues. Or Surf Air Mobility, the company that is focusing on EV planes. Leave a comment below and rank these 1 to 5. This is, of course, just my opinion and not financial advice. There's a lot of talk building on social media right now about some of these stocks, but always do your own due diligence. Remember that I'm not a financial advisor, but if you enjoyed this analysis, then please like and subscribe. I hope you make a lot of money on these stocks. Follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you in the next video.